Oh my god, you guys. I totally recorded all of the voiceover, like 32 minutes of voiceover for the first episode of this Stardew Valley playthrough. And I didn't record any of the gameplay. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Katie, aka half Ass Gamer. Today we are starting a brand new Let's Play. I oh, know, can you believe it? It's been like a year and a half since our last Let's Play. Our twist is going to be that we are going to play Stardew Valley vegan. I know, totally off the wall suggestion. Also slightly stupid because we are not eating it or abusing it in any way, thus it is totally vegan and not a problem. But there are animals and there are fishes and there are lots of different ways that we can change our gameplay and play as if we were vegan in the game. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. Let's go ahead and start a new game. And first things first, we're gonna create our character. My name is Katie. My farm name is going to be Half Ast Farm. And my favorite thing, ooh, since this is a vegan playthrough, I think our favorite thing needs to be Nooch, also known as nutritional yeast. For those of you not in the know, you should know. Nutritional yeast is called Nooch. It is delicious, it is necessary. Everybody loves it. Mmm, cheesy deliciousness. All right. I'm gonna change my eye color just because I can. My eyes are more greenish than brownish. More like, ooh, that's kind of cool. More like that, let's do that. And now picking a farm. In my last playthrough, my personal playthrough, I had the forest farm and I really, really liked it. Um, there are a lot of forageable items, but there are patches of grass that prevent you from planting. Um, I don't want to do the Riverland farm because we're not going to be fishing. The hilltop farm, hmm. No, again, it's got that river, and I think since we're not going to be fishing, we wouldn't really get our use out of it. So let's go ahead and build a standard farm and just mess around and see what we can do. And for my very special granddaughter, I want you to have this sealed envelope. Thank you. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Damn, shit's real. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. XX years later. Joja, join us. Thrive. Smile, you're with Joja. Life's better with Joja. Oh, we crying. But conveniently, we have Grandpa's letter in our desk drawer. Dear Katie, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. 
I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Half-Ass Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? Excellent. We shall now be magically transported through the mountains on a bus that is ironically operational. Pay attention. This will not always be this way. Hello, you must be Katie. This is Robin. We like Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. I don't know about you, but it doesn't look like he did a very good job tidying up. There's crap everywhere. This is half ass Farm. Boing! Oh no, we're crying again. We're very emotional. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. It's Lewis, Lewis, you're not dead. Hello, old guy. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. I think rustic means no toilet, doesn't it? Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. talking trash about my house I haven't even moved in don't listen to her Katie she's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades <laughs> anyway you must be tired from the long journey you should get some rest tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself the townspeople would appreciate that Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by in the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Bye, guys. <laughs> All right, here we are. This is our home. We can get out of bed. We can turn on our fireplace. Probably turn off our fireplace because we are leaving for the day. Excellent pro tips, guys. Let's open our present. Dun -dun -dun. We got 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Alrighty. So we've got some goals. We've met two people in town. And if you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. 
water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. All right, let's go plant some parsnips. What? what? Man, this place is a flippin' disaster. Okay. Let's dig ourselves out a little patch of dirt. I did not remember how overgrown this game is at the very beginning. It's kind of funny. All right, let's use our, our Sith. Scythe? Sith Scythe? Let's use our big stick and whack the bushes. Pick up these weeds. They kind of look like cabbages, but that's okay. Yeah, we hacking. Clearing the land. Ooh, we gotta watch our um, our energy meter over here too. I kind of forgot about that. Because, you know, I'm just such a beast in my other playthrough. Don't need to pay attention to these things. Alrighty. Clear the way a little bit. Let's hop some logs. Chop, chop. And let's whack this bush. I, I'm just going to put my first plot, I think, right smack dab in front of the house. It makes it easier to water anyways. Let's go ahead and whack at you. And whack at you. All right, so we've got 15 seeds, and I think we should go buy some more. So let's set up maybe like a little 5x5 five five patch. I wasn't counting. Eh, who cares? It's not like we have anything to worry about. We are carefree on our grandpa's farm. Everything is awesome. We quit our jobs, apparently, for the Jojo, 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 Max, whatever. Wop, wop, wop. One, two, three. And we water again. One, two, three. Very run down little shack. I mean, thank goodness the house is actually like supposedly livable. You know, we didn't have to like repair the house yet. All right, let's wander into town. Let's go to Pelican Town. Um, plot hole. I'm not sure there are actually any pelicans. I think there might be some seagulls, but I don't think there are any pelicans. So that's a bit sad. Let's see here. Let's wander into the doctor's office. Oh, bonjour. Oh, no, nope, I gotta talk to you in here. Busting my way into the employees only zone because I'm a badass. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I gotta stop with the stupid voices because this is gonna get really annoying. I apologize. So we've met Harvey the doctor. This is Pierre's general store. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. This is Abigail. I think she's adorable. Hello. Hey, it's Ms. Katie, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. I like that he says that while standing in the general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'm already here, bud. I'll also buy produce from you for good price. All right, let's see what you've got for sale. Oh, I totally didn't know that we could like buy other things at the beginning of the game. I thought we could only have parsnips. All right, so we have parsnips. Let's see, do we want any beans? Takes 10 days to mature. How, what do we have? $500? Cauliflowers make a lot of money. Six days for these. The parsnips are going to be ready in four days. Leaning towards some potatoes. Ooh, kale. Kale is expensive. Holy cows. I think we need two tulips. Let's plant them somewhere. Let them be pretty. Oh, no. Our inventory is almost full. All right. Let's see. Well, we'll go ahead and grow some cauliflowers. Five whole entire cauliflowers. All right. 
Let's see, should we go home and plant them now? We're about half our energy, but it's only 11.30 a.m., so let's keep wandering around town and meet some more people. Hello, young sir. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. Why would we get along great, Alex? You don't know anything about me. I don't know anything about me. Apparently, I have a grandpa. Hello, wheelchair man. Humph. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? You're saying that you're irritated to meet me or that I'm irritated to meet you? Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. Humph. I think George needs a voice. I think George needs a grumpy old man voice. This is Evelyn. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. I most certainly will call you Granny. Let's see, you got any cool shit in your house? Ooh. Oh, we can't open doors. Forgot. All right. Who else can we meet? Let's see if anybody's in the troller. Nope. Let's wander our way over here. Check out the eastern side of town. Oh, I can't pick flowers because we don't have any room in our inventory. This is dumb. Hello, Mr. Bat Blacksmith. Er, hi, I'm Clint. I used to have a friend named Clint. He was a cool dude. He didn't look anything like this dude. I'm gonna take you to the library. Hello there, welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Gunther. Aw, oh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Sure thing, let's read this book. Tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality, reduce workload, or hasten crop growth. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Keep the area directly around your new sapling clear, or else it may not grow properly. Crops will die as soon as the season ends, unless they grow in multiple seasons, for example, corn. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with a sieve. Good to know. All right, who else do we need to meet? All right, we met Harvey, his single ladies, Gus, Marnie, Abigail, Pierre, Alex, George, Evelyn, Clint, Robin, Lewis. Ooh, we get to meet the girl with the blue hair and the girl with the green hair and the girls with the red hair. Oh, and this butt munch. All right, let's continue to wander the town. Let's see. I don't know where, um, What's his butt hangs out? Let's see if he's home. Maybe we should go home and plant our stuff. We'll go home the long way and see if we can meet anybody else and then we'll plant our stuff. Ooh, these people don't lock their doors. Hello. Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. This is Emily. In my other playthrough, I married her. And I think she's adorable and she kind of looks like um, my childhood best friend only with blue hair. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Cool beans. Can we bust in anybody's room? No. Fine. Do All right. Let's mosey on this way. I think this is a very cute little cottage and it gets like decorated for different seasons and holidays and stuff. So we may end up dating, um, Leah, this is Leah's cottage. We may end up dating Leah because she strikes me as a very crunchy granola person, so she might be vegan. We'll have to we'll have to screen everybody. Pick the veganist candidate to date. Ooh, hello. Let's wander into the barn. Why do you have hay bales in your house? That's a little peculiar. Uh hi, you're Marnie, yeah. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. I just did, Marnie. Alrighty. Oh, oh, geez whiz. 
Okay. We're going to have to battle our way up. Alright. Let's whack things with our tools. Oh no, I don't want to use all my energy because we got to plant stuff. Oh man, look at all these stumps. Holy cow. This is so much more overgrown than I remember. Or maybe the, um, the forest farm that I had just isn't this overgrown. I suppose that's possible. But hey. Let's plant our cauliflowers. Ooh, and we got some seeds. I haven't decided where we're going to put our uh, tulips yet. Oh, well, whoops. It's fine. It's fine. Nobody has to know we didn't mess it up on purpose. Plant our cauliflowers. I just put those in a stupid place like a stupid person. It's fine. Nobody has to know. Ha ha ha. Fixed it. Ooh, you know what we should do? We should cut down some trees so that we can build a chest so that we can put some stuff in it. This, I think, would be wise. Alrighty. Let's whack some trees before bedtime. We will eventually, like, replant trees and landscape and stuff, but today is not that day. Alright, alright. We can do this. We can get ourselves 50 woods. It'll be fine. Let's see. Chopping trees. Let's go ahead and build a chest. Plop. And I say we put it right here next to the house. Ooh, or do we maybe, well, where are we going to plant our tulips? We should, we should have thought this through. All right. Put all of our things in here, except for the things we have to carry. We gotta carry around so much stuff. Maybe we should keep our axe in here. And our... I guess we could really keep most of our tools in here when we're not home. But we're going to be home. So, let's take that and let's pick a place to plant these seeds. Hmm. How about one, like, right here? As we're coming home. Oh, no. Don't, like, die trying to plant your seeds, lady. Let's just go to bed. It's 10 p.m. Ooh, we turn on the fireplace, make it all cozy. Go to sleep for the night? Yes, yes, indeed. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. Tune in next time, and we will live through day two on our fabulous vegan farm. See you next time. Bye.